Hey, yet a fig it here for some more dual hearts. Let's finish off this son of a bitch. What? Why didn't I fire? Whatever. Something. The invisible tumble must have hit me, because, yeah, there's an invisible tumble for this fight. What the fuck? There we go. Yeah, he's almost dead. This fight took a lot longer the first time, but then again, the first time I had absolutely no fucking clue what I was doing. This time I know, just constantly arbalest him. Oh, Dream Rings! Nice! Whoa, those are Dream Rings. Dream Rings. Move out of my way. I want those Dream Rings. Come on, do the little spinny thing. Fucking invisible tumble. He's dead. There. You have proven your will and strength by surpassing your former selves very well. What? Former selves? As I promised, I will share with you a tale of this island, a tale which took place in a distant past. And now, the legend from the beginning. The, o the legend from the opening movie. When dreams became reality. And new dreams were born. I love that. It was a golden age for mankind. A paradise on earth. However, dark desires also manifested themselves. Mayor, born from the evil within people's minds, shook heaven and earth. Those who opposed it were turned to ashes. The world was on the brink of destruction. Yes, I do have to read along. Well, no. What does this remind me of Shaolin Showdown? Whatever. And now continue. Oh well. This is... the cave at the foot of the cliffs. It is a remnant of the fierce battle that raged long ago. Who are you? I'm just a bard who's been forgotten in the flow of time. At any rate, the fate of this world is not now in your hands. That's got nothing to do with me. The only thing I care about is treasure. Stop trying to drag me into it. 
You did not come here by chance, but by fate. The wheels of fate have started to turn, without regard for your w wishes. All that I can do for you at the moment is create shortcuts within the dream world. Until the time comes, I shall be waiting here. Well, I think it's time we walk out. Let's head up. Meanwhile, my other TV is auto-turning off. Hey, it's Chiffron. Abel. Hey. Watch where you're going. Hey. That girl dropped something. Who cares? Just forget about it. We can't do that. Looks like something's inside. A picture? Please. Please save her. Well, what are you talking about? At this rate, Chiffron will... I have a favor to ask of you. Please take this pendant to her. Please save her before it's too late. Rumble, what's the matter? It's nothing. Man. I've got a funny feeling. Rumble? Come on, let's go see that girl. Huh? Why all of a sudden... Just because. I've changed my mind, alright? Whatever. Before we do, though, there's a cutscene I would like to trigger that I think we can trigger at this point. Alright, looks like I was wrong. We can't trigger the cutscene yet, so... Whatever, it'll trigger eventually. I'll be able to trigger that cutscene eventually. So anyway, let's go see Chiffron. About damn time. I mean, she's been moping around the whole fucking game. Sir, please help. Nancy? Miss Chiffron fainted in the lobby. I can't leave the desk unattended. Please fill in for me. Hey, why do I... Get your ass back here, Nancy. What happened? She collapsed all of a sudden. She is resting easily now. She needs peace and quiet, so could you please leave the room? We'll have to wait for some other time to return the pendant. Hmm. Miss Chiffron has been under a lot of stress, and is not feeling well. Is that so? I have to get back to work. Please don't disturb the guests. I always disturb your guests. Just always. Should we go into Chiffron's dream tumble? But her dream doesn't have a key. That doesn't matter. It's something else I'm worried about. But for now, I'm going to cut this off. So thus concludes this segment of Let's Play Dual Hearts. Goodbye.